structure of Biscuit Basin in Yellowstone National Park after a powerful steam explosion rocked the popular site. Scientists are planning to add more monitoring sites to one of Washington's high risk volcanoes where they just detected an unusual number of earthquakes. Yellowstone rising after Cascadia quakes, alarming signals stir debate. The American West is once again under the microscope of scientists and the public alike. Following reports of a massive earthquake sequence beneath Mount St. Helens and Mount Adams in Washington state. Speculation has surged that Yellowstone National Park is showing unusual ground uplift, some calling it alarming. The idea of a chain, reaction spanning the Cascadia volcanic arc to the Yellowstone. Supervolcano has ignited public imagination. But what does the science actually say? A shake in northwest the Mount St. Helens, infamous for its catastrophic 1980 eruption, remains one of the most closely watched volcanoes in the United States. Over the past year, it has been rattled by repeated bursts of seismic swarms, thousands of tiny quakes beneath its dome and flanks. Nearby, the towering Mount Adams has also drawn attention, while it has not erupted in thousands of years. Instruments recorded a noticeable increase in tremor activity late last year and into 20 to 5 to the public. These events may sound like the prelude to something greater, especially when linked with the geological behemoth that is Yellowstone. Rumors began circulating that tremors from Washington's volcanoes had reverberated eastward, disturbing Yellowstone's fragile magma chamber. Yellowstone, the restless giant, Yellowstone is not a normal volcano, it is a super volcano, one of the most powerful on Earth. Beneath the steaming geysers, colorful hot springs, and hydrothermal features lies a magma reservoir so vast it dwarfs any cascade volcano. For decades, scientists have monitored its movements closely, especially its ground deformation, the way the Earth's crust there slowly rises and falls like a breathing giant. Satellite radar, GPS stations, and laser-based measurements have shown that Yellowstone's ground can lift by several centimeters a year, then subside again. This inflation-deflation cycle has happened many times over the past century. But when linked in public conversation to earthquakes at Mount St. Helens and Mount Adams, ordinary fluctuations can suddenly appear ominous. Dot. Is Yellowstone rising alarmingly? The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO run by the USGS in cooperation with universities and the National Park Service, provides regular updates on the park's condition. According to their latest September 2025 reports, uplift at Yellowstone has been modest and within historical norms. The ground around Yellowstone Lake and Norris Geyser Basin has shown millimeters to centimeters of uplift in recent months. But this is neither unprecedented nor unusual. In fact, seasonal patterns caused by groundwater, snowmelt, and hydrothermal pressure often create the illusion of sudden ground swelling. 
if Yellowstone were to rise alarmingly, scientists explain. The signals would be unmistakable, rapid uplift measured in tens of centimeters within months. Sudden increases in earthquake swarms beneath the caldera. Sharp spikes in volcanic gas release CO and SO. Disturbances in geysers and hot springs. None of these signs are currently present on a scale that suggests imminent eruption. Could Cascadia quakes influence Yellowstone? This is where science meets speculation. Could earthquakes at Mount St. Helens or Mount Adams ripple across the crust and trigger changes in Yellowstone's magma system? The short answer, unlikely. While earthquakes can transmit seismic waves over vast distances, their ability to permanently deform the crust or influence magma pressure far away is limited. In Yellowstone's case, the distance from the Cascades is several hundred miles. A massive quake magnitude 8 or greater, might jolt the Yellowstone area briefly, but not in a way that would inflate its ground or destabilize its magma chamber. Dr. Michael Poland, scientist in charge at YVO, has previously explained that Yellowstone's activity is largely independent of external events. Its cycles of uplift and subsidence are driven by the slow rise of heat, magma, and fluids from deep within the Earth, not by remote tremors in Washington. Why Yellowstone still deserves attention, even though the link to Cascadia quakes appears weak, Yellowstone itself is always worth watching. In the past 2.1 million years, it has produced three super eruptions, each reshaping the North American landscape. Smaller eruptions of lava flows and hydrothermal explosions have also scarred the land. Scientists emphasize that while an eruption in our lifetime is unlikely, geological time moves slowly and Yellowstone will erupt again someday. Monitoring uplift, quakes, and hydrothermal changes is critical for understanding how its 